Hi, I'm Wendy from shinyhappyworld.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together this raccoon applique pattern. So this is one block in the Woodland Critters quilt pattern, which is a larger quilt pattern that includes a whole bunch of different forest animals. But in this video, we're just gonna work on the raccoon. All right, I've got all the pieces prepared to put together this super cute raccoon. He's got a lot of pieces. So this is the video showing how to do it without using a light box, which means that all of these guidelines, these dotted lines that are printed on the uh, paper side of your pattern need to be transferred to the fabric side. So if you don't have a light box, just hold them up to a window and you can trace those lines will show through the fabric very clearly, even through a pretty dark fabric. So let's get started. We are gonna make this be snapshot style which means uh, it's gonna look like we snapped a photo of him and his whole body isn't showing in the photo. But if we floated it in here, it would look like his body was cut off. If you line that bottom edge, that straight edge up with the bottom edge of the block, it looks like he has a body, it's just not in the picture. If you would rather float yours in the middle of the block, do it emoji style and just leave out the shoulder piece. So just have the head piece then floating in the middle. So got the shoulder pieces down in place. This one is a little awkward to put together, so we are going to go ahead and put in the top of the body, or the top of the head, just to start using as a guideline. So I'm definitely gonna need to shift that, but right there, right now, it's a starting place. So let's go ahead and get the muzzle in. Little threads hanging on there. There's a line marked here. We just, as soon as we cover up that line, we know we've got good overlap and it's positioned in the right place. So now let's put in some of these eye patchy pieces. Same thing, we want to cover up, we're gonna tuck that behind the muzzle until this chalk line is covered and we wanna cover up the line that was on the body there. So that's giving us good coverage there. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Tuck that behind the muzzle and on top of the shoulders. And that's gonna be good. Now we can take this guy and shift it down. So he's gonna sit on top of the eye patches. And then this guy going to go shift up on top of that. All right, next up, we need to do his eyebrows. Make sure we've got all of this good. So we've got this one here. It's going to cover up that seam between those pieces. And now this one here is going to cover up on this side. We want these to, there we go, just cover those up. This down there. Just shifting those pieces around. All right. Now we've got some big, you know what, I need to do the outer ears first. So we've got some bigger outer ear pieces. And they're gonna tuck behind the head here. And behind the head on this side. And then we've got some darker inner ear pieces because raccoons have almost white on their outer ear, but a very dark inner ear. And do the same thing on this side. Get that tucked in there. That looks great. All right, now we just need his eyes. And this eye. And his nose. All right, 
I'm going to take all of these pieces. I'm going to take this whole setup over to my ironing board. I'm going to fuse all of the pieces in place. Just follow the instructions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you're using. I use heat and bond light. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and do all the outline stitching. And then I will bring it back here and show you the finished block and also show you one other color version I did. And here is the finished block. I've done all of the outline stitching and I added some catch lights to his eyes, just a little dot of white fabric paint. And I did another color version too. So first I wanna show you this one. This is the one that you'll see on the cover of the Woodland Critters applique pattern. All of the blocks in that sample use shades of green in the background blocks and they're all blenders from the Avocado Blenders collection. And all of the animals are realistic animal colors from the Animal Kingdom blenders collection, but I did one other version, and that is this one. So in the second version of the quilt that I made, I made two different samples for the pattern. Again, all of the animals use realistic colors, so all from the Animal Kingdom blenders, but in this version, for the background blocks, instead of using these tone-on-tone -tone blenders, I used solid blocks where I have the quilting lines actually printed on the fabric, and these are all from the farmer's market. Um, color palette. So totally different look and you'll also notice that this one has eyelashes. So all of, not all, almost all of the animals in the pattern, the Woodland Critters quilt pattern, have animal, have eyelashes on them and you can either stitch them like I did in this block or you can leave them off like I did for this one. Whichever look you like the best, but I do think that the eyelashes are awfully cute. I'm Wendy from shinyhappyworld.com, and this is the raccoon block from the Woodland Critters quilt pattern.